my name is Victoria. Welcome to my channel. We're on our way to a trail where there is an abandoned old crashed airplane. I've been sick for the past entire week and I haven't been able to do anything. I wasn't able to upload a video, um, but I'm better now. The adventure continues. So Chan, wild parsley, apparently. still trying to find this airplane. We literally went off course for like a mile down a different, whole different trail. It was supposedly at the top here, but there's no um, markers, there's no trails to the plane. We had to kind of like find our way. So we're going all the way back up there again and we're getting lots of exercise in today though, so that's good. Finally elusive, crashed airplane. Trail. I'd say the hike to the crash plane is a bit challenging and about 2.5 miles round trip, but for us it was closer to 3 or 4 miles considering we had to double back. The plane crashed in 1983, killing the pilot and passenger. It was likely due to poor weather conditions and alcohol. It was also likely they were flying by sight and ducking under clouds. They would have cleared the mountain had they been 150 feet higher. The train is too tough to get the plane out of, and so it has just been left there as an eerie reminder of a sad misfortune. So that is the fallen airplane. That was in fact a hike because we doubled it and went twice. <laughs> but it's really cool views, so. I have a little snack and now we have to find somewhere to sleep tonight. Mm. We're in the Natahela National Park and we wanted to go to this dam place that was really pretty. The sun's about to say we don't have a solid camping place or anywhere to sleep yet. Whenever you're traveling around trying to find things that you see like online or from people's recommendations, you never know if it's gonna be open or you can get there or not. So this is just what you kind of deal with. It's getting kind of late and we need to find somewhere to sleep and we're really tired. We hiked a lot today. Campsites up here. I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Drive a little slower because if we fall off of this, I'm dying first. <laughs> well, this is scary. This could lead absolutely nowhere and go on for miles. Well, don't look down because. <laughs> don't look down. Yeah, you don't look down. I'm just gonna try. Yeah, <laughs> we're up really high. Yeah, no. There's no turnarounds. That's something. Do you think we're, we'd be allowed to camp? Oh, who's gonna get us in trouble? No one's gonna come up here. <laughs> the most harshest places are the most beautiful. Look at this. Okay, I'm just, I'm nervous and anxious because we're going up really, really high and we don't know what's up here and there's really nowhere to park or turn around. So, I'm just, I'm feeling lots of things. Like, I will have 10 heart attacks if you try to turn around anywhere around here. Just literally up on this mountain ledge. <laughs> like, we're overlanding again. <laughs> we didn't mean to. We um, were driving and I'm just like, just take this trail. And we just took it and we've just been driving on the side of the mountain. We have no service, that's the problem. We haven't had service for a long time so we can't look anything up. Well, Lark's more easygoing than I am. I'll just say that. It's a one lane um, trail. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that should be good. See ya. Bye. The big problem about this is that this road goes on forever and we have no service. If anything were to happen to us out here, we'd have no way to get help. 
Yeah, we just need to stop somewhere now at this point. You hear those trees? So the lake is right there. I don't even know if we're allowed to camp here. We had to stop because the light's going down. We were just driving around and around, and in this forest, for some reason, more than the other one, there's no service. Neither one of us is service. My internet's not working like the whole time we've been driving around, and it's a bit more challenging. One thing I really, really need to get is a satellite phone. I didn't realize we we're going to be off-roading or going off-road like this out here with no service. So that's why I was like, whatever. But since we're here now, it's like if anything were to happen. There's no way to contact anyone. We're, we're up in, on the mountainside. There's no way to get down unless we walked for hours. So it's just one of those things. I just feel really anxious right now because it's been a long day. I think I'm just tired. I don't know what I feel. If anyone were to like drive up here, it'd be terrifying. I have pepper spray and a knife, but um, I'm going to have my sister put her tent here and I'll probably sleep with this open just so I can keep an eye on her. <laughs> because I feel very like my mom right now. I have full power. I'll show you how, and I'll show you my battery setup. I'm able to have lights and everything. I'll just give you a quick glance down here. I have my battery right here. It has lights. And so I have everything plugged in here. And it's still like completely charged, even though I used it the last time. Then I have the solar panel that I'll show you that charges it. I'm very happy to say this video is sponsored by EBL and I wanted to show a demonstration of the features of this power station real quick. So this is EBL Portable Power Station Voyager 1000 and I got two solar panels that I can charge it out of or I can charge it in a wall outlet or a car charger. This thing holds an amazing charge and can power up to 10 items like I said before. I've already used it like two times and it's still at 94%. These are the cords that you use to plug into the battery from the solar panels. I really need this while traveling because I need to charge my cameras, my drones, a fan when I'm sleeping at night and it's hot, my phone, my lights, things like that. It also has a wireless charger for my phone which is really convenient. I have a discount code for you so look below the video for the links to where you can purchase this and the code to get the discount. This has been a lifesaver living on my Jeep. I need power and I need it to be small and portable so this is perfect for me. So we have lights so don't worry about that. My sister is actually not pitching a tent. She's gonna sleep on the ground. We are making supper which is Homemade parsnip soup. It's got onions and carrots in it. Oh, is that the moon? It's a full moon! She got these little graham crackers, but she also got little marshmallows. I'll show so, you my spice selection. Maybe I can charge my phone on your battery? Yeah. It's got my prunes, which I have to tell you, I'm obsessed with prunes. I'll show you the way. It's right Thank here. You. That's right. <laughs> you want <laughs> What's too kind for you? Peasants start by fire! <laughs> you got a lighter? I do. Oh, are we gonna listen to your music again? Can we listen to classical music? Mmm. Maybe. Yeah. my wish list. Well, I needed a chair, but I need something really, really small. So I got this tiny little thing. <laughs> See the moon over there? This is really nice. It's really nice. I'll be sleeping right here. Is that the full moon? Oh, it's so comfy! Got these wool socks for my wish list. I've been wearing those the whole day today when I was um, hiking and stuff, and they did really well. I'm gonna attempt to sleep with this thing open tonight just so I can keep an eye on my sister so she doesn't get killed by a bear. Beautiful breeze, perfect temperature. The weather has been amazing. So.
that was weird. If, if, if they just like kind of passed through, then it'd be whatever, but they just sat there. Another sleepless night in the Tory Diaries of sleeping in my car. I haven't gotten a single sleepful night last night. I don't know, there's this weird truck that just parked right over there and was shining its lights on us at 2.30, 2.40 in the morning. And I like woke up, I like looked over and there's it's really bright. So I'm like, Clark, she like comes over and calls near. They decided to move on, which is nice, but then the rest of the night I was just anxious. I was anxious about a bear eating Lark and uh, vehicles coming because we have no protection here. We didn't plan to be uh, out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with no service. Like, what am I gonna do, you know? <laughs> we should do a little stretching. Yeah, stretching. I'm a sweaty girl sometimes. Um, but my hair's all like greasy and stuff. And sometimes I like to use incense as a perfume cleanse me. My anxieties. The trees were um, making noise the whole night. We're making our way out of Rainbow Road. It's a beautiful morning. We can get cheaper than like, I think in Tennessee it's a bit cheaper. Those are baby elk. So those are real small for an elk. me happy he's like I don't know and but this does I feel it like this feels peaceful this is something I would miss and then I you know you always think oh I have to go back to reality I have to go to real life but I don't have to like real life this is real life and everyone should have some of this in their day-to-day -day life because um, even though there's lots of people and establishments and cities and pollution there's still a lot of nature even in America and yeah, I encourage you to go find some today or soon, just to ground yourself. This makes me feel peace. And this is beautiful. This whole trip has been so lovely. And we found such cool places. You kind of just have to go out and look sometimes. It's not always going to be on, online. You can't always find everything. Like, and it doesn't always work out how you think it's going to. I'm very happy right now. I'm very peaceful. That's so cool. <laughs> That's going to be
be the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It has been amazing. And the more I go out, the more confidence I get. The more things I do, the more I feel like I can do. And the more my world opens. And I hope I can help open your world a little bit too. Um, someday we're going to get into like really intense adventures. But for now, we're working our way up. And sometimes we'll have anxiety. And sometimes we'll fail. And sometimes things won't go according to plan. But we're making our way in life and this is just not our at all. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video.